Hey y'all, what's up? It's Dom Hills. I'm back with another video for this week. And the topic today is stay in the present moment. So something that has definitely been helping me out a lot, like in my day-to-day -day life, is staying in the present moment. Why? Because that's what we're really going to find our contentness and our happiness in is right now. Like too many times we are worried about what happened last week or yesterday or last year and you know what I'm saying that is over with it's okay to you know live in it and, and bring it up for a little while but um just be conscious and be aware whenever you are you know more stuck on something that's already passed or um being too much into the future that can also cause some you know disruption in your life and cause you not to be happy and what I found out that um, a lot of my depression that I was going through came from me, you know, being sad about something that I cannot change. Like, we can't change what happened to us. We can't. I wish that I could sometimes, but, um, you know, the hard reality is we can't. And we also, you know, the future is not here yet. So that's something we can't change either. But what we can enjoy right now is what we're doing. Like even if you're just laying in the bed like I'm doing right now, you can enjoy that. You can be in, you can feel the bed. You can feel this pillow underneath you. You can feel your lips moving and, and hear yourself really speaking, you know? And you allow yourself to really just be who you are right now. And that's a big deal, guys. Sometimes we're too stuck in the, okay, if I had this much money or if I would have just did that or man, I can't wait until my paycheck comes Friday because then I'm going to do this and then I'm going to be happy and then and what if and, and that and y'all. That's not where it's at and that's not what's up. So try your hardest to just focus on just being with yourself right now. Love who you are right now, even if you have things that you want to change about yourself. It's okay. Just live in it. It's totally fine. Everything's going to be okay. I promise you, like, I've been through it. Um, so, yeah. Like, for example, yesterday, me and my boyfriend spent all day together. I just wanted to enjoy being with him. So, I did not touch my phone all day. I wasn't thinking about, oh, my God, what am I going to do at work tomorrow? Or, oh, my God, uh, I wish I would have did this yesterday differently. I was dead-ass focused on what I was doing what we were doing, the plans that I had for that day and following through what I had. And I enjoyed the shit out of my day. It felt like the longest day ever because I really sat in it and I enjoyed every second. I enjoyed, you know, waking up. I enjoyed getting out of my bed. I enjoyed going to take a shower. I enjoyed walking, you know, just feeling the earth under my feet, feeling the air past my face because you're never going to get these moments back, y'all. You're never going to get the past back and you're not even in the future yet. So the only way is to practice being present and being mindful in that present. For some of y'all who don't know what being mindful is, it's basically like um, just making sure that you stay aware of what you're doing. You know, like... I'm breathing right now, or I'm touching my leg oh my right gosh. now, or I'm in the bed right now. You're just mindful of what's going on around you, so that helps you to stay present, you know? So I encourage y'all to try to stay in the present moment. Be happy in the now. Be content with what you got going on now. Be content that you have a house you know, to be in or that you have food and that you're you're financially okay right now. And just live in that and enjoy it and be good. It's also Manifestation Monday and this is my manifestation board up here. And I also have another one over there. And I'm gonna make more manifestation boards. Um so happy manifestation Monday. Make sure while you're staying present, also be working on your future and stay present in working on your future. And I'll talk about that in another video. But just know a lot of my manifestations are coming to pass because I get to look at them every day and I get to make sure that I'm doing them. 
and I even write little reminders on my manifestation boards. I'll make a video on how to do that one day. So, yeah, y'all enjoy y'all night. It's Thom Hills, and bye.